Are you in a creative rut? Or maybe you feel like you don't have any artistic talents at all. Our Lisa Quinn recently met an artist who will inspire you to awaken your hidden creative self. Take a look. to get inspired to be creative. So I decided to find someone who's really good at that. Artist Andrea Fono, welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Okay, listen, I think there's a lot of ladies, a lot of men out in our audience right now that wanna be creative, but they don't really know where to get started. And that's why you're here. How would you suggest people kind of dip their toe into making art? Well, the first thing is just start sketching, sketching what you see, even sketch geometric forms. You can even color them in and have your own little coloring book. It's actually so easy to do, and it's not really significant, and no one has to see it. Exactly. I think a lot of people feel a little insecure. Maybe they're going to be judged if they start trying to do something that they're not familiar with. That's right. People feel really vulnerable showing that side of themselves. Right. You talk about displaying all your artwork. Once again, I think maybe sometimes people are a little reticent to put their own artwork up on the walls, but we should frame everything? You know, you can't believe what happens when you put in the frame. It really dignifies it. Right. And it allows every little smudge or little cocktail napkin drawing to really be magnificent. And the art can actually speak to you. You talk sometimes too about maybe getting nature to be your inspiration or surrounding yourself with inspiration. What can you tell our viewers on maybe making that space oh, right for them? so important. Take a walk. Sometimes just walking around the block you can see leaves and flowers, trees, certain expressions on people's faces. It's like going out for a walk just to breathe, not necessarily even to exercise, just to breathe and be present. And I always end up falling in love with the colors of the sky. The clouds, oh my goodness. So is this the area where you get creative? Yes, anyone could set up a desk at home with their favorite books or little tchotchkes, some flowers, and just be contemplative. As of late, I'm obsessed with stars. So I put books out or poems and I can get in the mood very quickly just to have pretty things around me. Well, you're going to show me more specifically some of the projects you've got going right now that might even more specifically show our audience how to maybe make some art, right? Absolutely. All right, show me what you got. All right. All right, Andrea, what are we going to do here? This doesn't look like the normal paint medium. Well, <laughs> this is going to be painting on plexiglass and then transferring it to paper. Oh, great. It's called a monoprint. And what, uh, the reason I'm showing you this today is that there's nothing like taking a class someplace at a junior college right. or taking a weekend class in the country. You learn to, all these new techniques and most people don't have this set up in their houses, right? No, they don't. And they might not even want to. Pick a medium that you really like. Right. Whether it be paint or collage or... That's right. Like, I don't really like pastels because they're messy. Right. But I like these because they're gooey. Trust the favorite colors that you like. Make a hundred paintings with your favorite colors. We're going to take this over to my printing press, put a piece of paper on top, have it mush into the paint, peel it off, and the image will transfer. Let's do it. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's fantastic. And we did that under five minutes. I was going to say, with the whole process from beginning to end was really in real time. We did this in less than five minutes. And I think that is probably the biggest inspiration to our audience, that you can make something so lovely in such a short period of time. It doesn't have to be so hard. Leave it simple. So, Andrea, I know you also teach these classes in person. How do people get in touch with you? I'm passionate about inspiring people to paint. So it's www.phonoart.com. F-O-N-O-A-R-T. And also, as usual, we will put a link to your website on our website at viewfromthebay.com. All right, I want to turn. I want to make one now. Okay. All right, cool. That's so pretty, and it was so easy. Joining me now is Andrea Fono. She brought, actually, her husband and her parents, and all the audience members are here to support her. It was beautiful. Now, I love art. I find it very peaceful, but I think I stink at it. But So I would love to do it.
but I'm a little bit hesitant. What, what advice would you have? Well, I think starting anything new, to be hesitant, a little nervous, is perfectly all Normal. right. Yeah. And then be courageous to try something Just new. Just go for it. Absolutely. You can't mess up, right? That's right. It's just your inner voice coming out. Okay. Trust in it. Okay. Thanks, Andrea. That was beautiful. Very neat. More information on her on our website. And thanks, audience members, for being here today.